Hi there, I'm just going to give us a quick little example on relative motion. It shouldn't be too difficult for us. Um, I'm just going to make up an example. Let's figure we have a starting point and you have two kids. One of them's in green. A little kid here. And then you have another kid that's in cyan. Okay. Now, let's just take a casing scenario that we have the blue kid run in this direction at a rate of two miles an hour so, or walk, he's going to walk two miles an hour and then you have the green kid who's going to walk in the opposite direction also at two miles an hour okay well if we were to draw an imaginary line right here I'm gonna give you an idea that this whole thing is 60 degrees and one of these is 30 degrees okay so walking at a certain angle and we can always use this point this starting point as our origin so anyway let's just draw our own little model down below Okay, if we draw a model like this, like this, what we can do is we can actually break this down into what is basically a 60 degree triangle. Therefore, if this is 2, and this must be rad 3 over 2 and this must be one and since they're at the same angle you'll notice similar proportions here one two red three over two great now let me ask you one thing if we were to call this one v1 and the right one v2 what would v1 relative to 2 equal? Well, let me draw it for you in here. v1 relative to 2 would be this line right here. Okay. So, if we don't know what that equals, maybe we should just break it down into vectors and try and solve it. Okay, so let's just do that. V1 is going to equal, we can see that it goes in the, in the x direction, if we were to use this coordinate system, x, y, in the x direction, V1 goes negative Uh, negative i plus rad 3 over 2 j hat. If we go to v2, you'll see something similar, except it'll just be i plus rad 3 over 2 j hat. Now if we were to use, go back to the original equation, v1 equals v2 plus v1 relative to v2, what you'll find 
is that you can play with this function. You can, I mean, you can play with this equation right here. You can toss things around. Let's toss this over here. So what you can have is you can have v1 minus v2 is equal to v1 relative to 2. You can do this. Well, we have v1 and v2 right over here. So what's v1 minus v2? v1 is negative 1 or negative i plus red 3 over 2 j j so that's the first part minus i plus red 3 over 2 j well if we look here j's they cancel out rad 3 over 2 minus rad 3 over 2 they're out but if we focus on this real quick negative 1 negative i but what, what are we solving there what we're, what we're saying is that v1 right here v1 minus v2 is going to equal v1 relative to 2. So therefore, v1 relative to 2 is going to equal negative 2i. And let's see if that makes sense. Well, negative 2i, if we look in red right here, going from this point at the end of V2, negative 2 over to the peak of the other vector. This is negative 2i and therefore it is V1 relative to 2. Interesting stuff. Um, it's, it seems very simple when we look at it this way but realize that it can get a lot more complicated, especially when you start dealing with circles and such. So anyway, um, leave any comments or requests, um, and feel free to go to my website, themrhandyman.webs.com, and I can answer your questions there as well. And also you can help each other out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.